In the state of Hawaii, several families are staking claim to the old Hawaiian monarchy. It may come as a surprise to many that Hawaii ever had a Western-style monarchy at all. But more than a century ago, a group of sugar planters and other businessmen, most of them Americans, overthrew the Hawaiian monarchy with the support of U.S. military forces. Hawaii has about 200,000 native Hawaiians out of a population of 1.3 million. The Iolone Palace is a symbol of political expression of the Hawaiian sovereignty movement. For native Hawaiians, Iolone Palace is the symbol of what once was as far as the Hawaiian kingdom and what it can be again. Uh, Iolani Palace is the focal point. It is the, the center of political expression for the Hawaiian sovereignty movement. The last monarch, Queen Lilia Koloni, was imprisoned at the Ornate Iolani Palace, which was built in 1882 by her brother, King Kalakaua. Today, there are several indigenous organizations that claim sovereignty over the islands tapping into a strong sense among native Hawaiians that they were wronged by history. Daoba Chu explains the claim to the throne made by one family is supported by the friends of Iolone Palace. Today in Hawaii, we do have a royal family uh, that we recognize, uh, known as the Kuananakoa. And they founded the Friends of Iolani Palace and have been staunch supporters throughout the years. And we have uh, normally always had a member of that family on our board of directors. Unfortunately, the, most of the sovereignty groups do not recognize the Kawananakoa family as the royal heirs uh, to the Kingdom of Hawaii, even though the Kawananakoas are directly related to King Kalakaua and Queen Kapi'olani. On several occasions in 2008, two different monarchist groups broke into the palace. Another group, the Hawaiian Kingdom government, occupied the palace grounds on April 30th and has been getting permits to set up there each week since then. The group was founded seven years ago and claims 1,000 followers. It uses its own license plates and maintains its own judicial system. It also claims to be operating a functioning government from the grounds. We're the Hawaiian Kingdom government. We're not presently occupying this place. We are resuming and assuming the continuity of the Hawaiian Kingdom government that have never, ever left the Hawaiian Kingdom or the Hawaiian Islands. Her Majesty Mahiloni Kahao holds court every day with her government ministers. They spend the day passing laws and discussing how to secure reparations for the native Hawaiian people under the auspices of the Hawaiian Kingdom government. She says that the Hawaiian Kingdom government group does not accept that either the United States or the state of Hawaii has any claim over the islands. We know that the Hawaiian Kingdom government is the only lawful government and that the United States as well as the state of Hawaii are corporations. In fact, the state of Hawaii is a subsidiary or a political subdivision as they call it, um, a part of the United States who's incorporated in Washington, D.C. And so um, it's not that we need to be recognized by them or anyone else. We've been recognized since the 1800s, 1826 by countries all over the world. We have treaties with them for over 150 years. In 1782, King Kamehameha I came to power after unifying the Hawaiian Islands and became the first king of the Hawaiian Kingdom. The last monarch and only reigning queen, Lilio Koloni, inherited the throne from her brother Kalakaua in 1891. The monarchy in Hawaii ended when it was overthrown by American and European businessmen. I mean, in terms of governance, the, the king was a constitutional monarch. So he governed um, as a sovereign uh, with the assistance of his cabinet ministers and his privy councillors. Ching says that Friends of the Iolone Palace wants to continue their efforts to restore the palace and its interior to its original condition. The group also wants the return of many of the original artifacts that were sold after the monarchy was overthrown. In order to raise funds, the group offers certain parts of the palace grounds for rent for special events. TITV Weekly.